do do Cats. do 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 you know what? I actually appreciate that. I'm gonna make that the opening to the podcast. So you just <laughs> moment of silence. Do do do. <laughs> All right. So, as of course, this is uh, Demonic Wizard on Twitch, Demonic Shadow for everything else. Um, do you want to thank you guys for tuning in to podcast two, which um has been titled "I Don't Fucking Know" because apparently nothing happened in common. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce who I have. With me right now, um, we're gonna go first up with uh, I'm Scallywag. Uh, Scallywag, Yo. go ahead and introduce yourself. And it is I am Scallywag, and I hail to you from the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Where's that from? Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> Where's um, that? yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say. I stream shit and got a YouTube channel. That's all. No, shut up. Where did, where's Lake Minnetonka from? Is that from a movie? What movie is that from? No, Prince. Prince? Right. Yes. Would you like to go take a dip in the waters of Lake Minnetonka? Oh. Oh, yeah, from Dave Chappelle. I, I knew that shit sounded familiar. All right, um, moving on. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead um, and whatever this guy wants to go by for this for this chat or for this podcast. I have Michael, aka Cats, aka Awesome Turtle, aka what else do you go by? A lot of things. I have just this big old internet identity crisis going. Uh, but I, I'm Michael, and my YouTube channel is Riggle Vision, which is a mix on television and Riggle Nightbug, the boss from the first oh no the seventh Toho game. Um, I play video games, and I like cats, and that's all that I'll introduce for now. Alright, and then next up we have, um, Arnold. I don't know if he has any nicknames. It's Tell just, us. we're gonna go with Arnold at yeah. this point. Alright. We will call him, get to the chopper, come on, do it now! Had to be done. I'll Thank be you. back. <laughs> You know, that's, that's the name now, Chapa. Uh, moving on. All right, and just to start it off, we're going to start off with a little uh, stream um, video, just a, st- a video game. Um, you, you guys against me, um, it's going to be either 21 questions, it's going to be 21 questions, and it's either going to be a game title or a video game character. And then you guys decide if you guys want to do a title or the character. Are you guys are ready? They're ready. Like you guys, you guys got to pick because I'm not oh. doing both. So okay, so let's go with title. Okay, title. so title, title, and Mike Miller. I'm assuming you're going to do title because really can't overwhelm one vote. <laughs> I I was like the second person who said title. Oh, I didn't I didn't hear you. All right, so 21 questions. It starts now. It's a video game title. You guys may start asking questions whenever you're ready. Instead of cats. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to count that as a serious question. Is there cats in the title? No. That doesn't count. Horrible. You guys are also bad stars. <laughs> if I can that Is it an RPG about cats? Be are you serious? <laughs> 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 are you... No. Stop it. <laughs> we have derailed this. You already. At least the last podcast they tried. I am so sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. Seriously, is it an RPG game? It is. It has RPG elements, but would not be classified as an RPG. This is Destiny. It is not Destiny. God fucking. <laughs> <laughs> is, the game out? is the game out? Does this game exist? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. It hasn't released yet. <laughs> I'm about to just end the podcast and go to sleep. <laughs> no, it's not. It exists. It's a real is, thing. Um, what? Who's the publisher? That, that's not a yes or no question. <laughs> not a twenty-one question. Oh, works. I, no, oh, 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 my bad. Least has RPG elements. Not RPG has RPG elements. <laughs> has, has it, it released? What fucking asshole? What? Has it come out? This is 
Is it out? Can I play it? If I went to the store right now, could I buy this game? Yes. Was it released in the last five years? No. Oh, and just for the <laughs> reference, at least not for you guys, because people watch me on YouTube, as I'm actually going to play a video of me out last. That's going to be watching. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, but that's what you guys are going to be watching. So moving on back to your, your game. So it's on the PlayStation 2. Okay, so it, it's not an RPG game, but it has RPG elements. Um, it is... What was, what was another question? It is... Um, it is not on the PS2. It, 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 you can play it. It is real. One of my favorite games. That's another hint. Um, but it was not released in the last five years. It was not released in the is last five Cloud? years. Is it Dark Cloud? It is not Dark Cloud because Dark Cloud was a game on the PlayStation 2 and it was not released. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. What are you talking about? The last 10 years. Last 10. He needs to know. Google this shit. What the hell? I actually do. <laughs> Let me the just double best. check. I'm the best. pretty. Get up game. Pretty sure it came out last ten years, but I'm just classifying it. Yes, it did. Actually, it came back. Oh shit! It barely made the five minute mark. So technically, it came out five years ago. So I'm sorry. I apologize. My fault. So it came exactly five years ago. Is it Dragon Age? It is not Dragon Age. Is it based uh, in the Middle Ages? It is... No. So it's not a fantasy game. It is not a Final Fantasy game. No, fantasy. Oh. Setting. What happened? It's... No, it's not. It's not complete fantasy. It's more realistic. But it's... That was also another hint. Is it It is not Fallout. Hmm. Was it released on the PlayStation 3? Yes, it was. Okay. And it was released in 2010. Yes. Is this when I just start listing out games? Come on, guys. Ask more questions. Is it a, is it a shooting game? Is it made by Square Enix? Is Does it a third-person shooter? It is a third-person shooter. It's a Red Dead Redemption. God damn it, it's Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> GG! <laughs> Job. Look up nice. PS3 games 2010. It's not, a, it's not a long list. Well, it's supposed to be it came out in the past well, two, five years. Well, I years. didn't look it up. I, he uses resources. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. Now that I think I about never... it, 2010 was still a period in which people were arguing that PS3 had no games, so... PS3 had no games, what are you talking about? It still has no games. Yes, three. Like, it has three games. And one of them's Mag. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so we're moving on. Let me actually... I need... I, for, I just now realize I can't use... This. That here. That here. Still here? Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm just playing Outlast. I'm just going to have Outlast play in the background. Um, uh, so I'm not as distracted. So we're moving on. Um, so first topic, unless, some, unless someone wants to talk about something first, or in particular, nothing. You know, Black Ops, uh, fucking E3, uh, Assassin's Creed Top Hat, whatever you guys want to talk about first. Um, I would say we could probably talk about Assassin's Creed Top Hat first, just because this is going to go quick, because... One, Ubersoft just needs to not fuck up, and that's pretty much it. And no one's going to buy the game. They probably think they're going to fuck up. Come on now. Ubersoft is going to fuck up. You, you shouldn't buy the game anyway because they fucked up so much. They should just give it out free. <laughs> it should be like 20 bucks. It should be a full game, but 20 bucks. They're not going to They're greedy. 
They thought they could, they thought they thought they could get away with unity, and it's obviously they couldn't. And they're trying like, to garner only, some goodwill with people. The but, only good thing about this game is the top hat. Like, if you want hats, play Team Fortress Two. If you want what? Hats. Oh. I mean, but, like, let's be honest. Like, top hats are terrible for stealth, though. Well, when he goes into stealth, he takes off his top hat and puts up his hood. Is one of those retractable top hats? Well, I don't... Is it? Like, he just, like, he takes it out of his pocket, whips it out, puts it on his head. Well, no. When he goes into stealth, he takes off his top hat, he puts it into, into his magic clothing items because it fucking just despawns and he puts his hood up and then when he is out of stealth he puts his hood down and magically spawns a uh, fucking that top hat. That is the hat. lamest top hat ever. Yeah. This ha- this guy has blades on his arms but he couldn't get a retractable top hat. Good good job. I mean whatever like it looks nice uh, um, other than it being um, the only thing that, like, because normally when you have a trailer, you, like, introduce the new mechanics into the game. The only thing new that they, um, that they introduced was that you can ride carriages. That's it. That's all I got. Like, that's the you only thing. You could ride you can... horses in the first game. Yeah, but you can ride carriages, and they're, like, vehicles. But I would think horses would be better because, you know, it's a smaller thing. Why would you want to? Why would you, an assassin, want to ride on this big, bulky thing that can probably fail at any point, moment because you probably have to go really fast to get away from the millions of guards you just pissed off? I mean, like, the precision aiming is cool. <sighs> There's nothing... There's nothing. But I mean, like, I am now calling Assassin's Creed Grand Theft Horse Carriage. <laughs> <laughs> that is something you can do. You can you can take you can take uh you can j- hijack a carriage from someone. I'm not sure, like, what's the purpose of this? Like, it ain't exactly hard to stop a horse carriage in the middle of a fucking s- the streets of London. Not only that, but like when you are in the horse carriage, you're fucking. Apparently, you're a tank, and you just just fucking just blow down everything. Like anything gets in your way, just gets demolished. No, oh, that that sounds legit. Like horses just go demolishing everything, and are not aren't like really pussies in real life. They're just like, no, I'm not going there. Fuck out of here. I mean, there's also no multiplayer, which I guess makes sense because um, no one really plays online that much. Like, as, I, it's, it's, it's fine, sucks ass. It yeah, like for me, at least for my opinion, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I loved it online. I loved it a lot. The only reason why I stopped playing online was to play other games. But it was a good system. Like it was good. Like you can get one kill and get so many points off of that, and it was it was it was fun because then you have people who didn't know how to play the game that were just running around. It's like no, this isn't Call of Duty. It's Assassin's Creed. You gotta be stealth, silent, ninja, and take your time. And you can pray off them and get a bunch of points. And then they kind of fucked up by adding more shit as game went on. It's like well, up oh, right. But they kind of had to, otherwise it's just been the same online. So I don't think they should have just gave up. They should have just tried something different. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this game is already bullshit. It's not even historically accurate. Is it? The like, game is set in London, 1868. There is a picture of the British Railways, which didn't come along until 1949. Oh, I have no idea. I'm just saying. At this point, you might as well just add a brontosaurus. A brontosaurus? Yeah, like, let's go Assassin's Creed prehistoric. Like, let me be a caveman 
riding the motherfucking the same hoodie on. Hold on. Hold on. Something's going on. Looks like. Oh, it's really been 50 minutes. Time flies when you're not. Did talking. someone just deconnect? I think. Um. Because. Gally, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. And um, Arnold's here? No, Arnold said be right back. Ah. Okay, that's what happened. I was just making sure it was all connected and everything was working. Um, so I guess Arnold will be back uh, eventually. Um, I guess. We... But the, I don't know. I, I'm more than likely. Well, I'm definitely not getting the game at release. I'm probably not even going to get the game at all. I mean, unless it's like Assassin's Creed Top Hat, best game ever. Get it now. Then I'll probably still not get it. Yeah, well, it's typical to, for me to not wait for reviews before I get a game because I want my own impression, but this is one of those games where you actually want to read up on shit and wait until there are reviews to see if it might be worth your time. I mean, I'm just tired of the Assassin's Creed series. Like, I never really liked it to begin with, but the more they released and then, like, they tried to, like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna shove this shit down your throats every year. Like, come on now. It's not mad. Chill out. Not only that, but they need to stop making the game every year. Like, every year. Like, can we get, you know, can you take two years or something like that to make the game? A year and a half? You, you right. don't need to release... Sort of like, rushing ideas. It's not what'll make an awesome story. It was just what, what'll pander to whoever buys these games. I don't even know what the story is, because I, like, gave up after Assassin's Creed 3, where, like, all that ma bullshit happened at the end. I'm just like, wait, what? And then they kind of just said fuck it for Black Flag, and I don't know what happened to like the human side or Desmond and Unity. So it's like, are they? They're not even trying anymore. <sighs> Every time I think of Assassin's Creed now, I think of that one overlooked scene where there's just this guy and no polygons for his face, just eyes and his teeth or something. Wait, what? There was a scene, it was part of what sparked the whole Assassin's Creed is an incomplete game thing, where um, I guess it was overlooked in quality testing or something, but there was one guy who always showed up and he didn't have a head, it was just a floating pair of eyes where they were supposed to be, and his mouth. And you can just see right through that shit. <laughs> what? Well, that is... Yeah, they caught a lot of shit for that. Yeah, didn't they patch that, like, real quick? Yeah, they patched it. Yeah. Well, that's something. The people just, uh, they kind of blew it out of proportion. They patched a lot of things it, for the it game. It was a pretty terrible thing to overlook, but at the same time, it was just one scene. Yeah, that's true. Shit, that should have never made it through quality testing. That's well, what they get paid for. Right. A lot of shit get, gets out of testing. A lot of shit. For that to like slide through, that's something you kind of have to like look at your team and it's like, the fuck? Like when I saw it, I was, my first thought was fucking Andross from Star Fox 64. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I, I know who that is. Yeah, sure. I totally look just like him. Person, I this don't guy. Turn down for what? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. So pretty much, game comes out, buy or not buy at release, or even buy at all. Would you even buy the game? Like, even if it was like the best Assassin's Creed, would you even buy it still? No. Just the genre itself just doesn't interest me, just me personally. Pretty much, not even that, like, it's not even a stealth game anymore. It's supposed to be. <sighs> Fucking... They're, they're, they're just not trying. Just make it because it's popular. And graphics. I mean, they were never known for graphics. Like 
check out the shadows on this cart. It's about all you get. Sorry about that. The wife needed me for something. Okay. Um, we pretty much just talked about Assassin's Creed Top Hat. Oh, so basically okay. missed nothing. I missed nothing. Good. Yeah, pretty much. They, worst top hat ever. Moving on. Alright, moving on. What are we at? Konami? Are we at Konami yet? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Konami and how... <laughs> what the fuck are they even doing now? I'm guessing they realize that they just want to make easy money. So it's going to be mobile games and casinos. So I mentioned this in the last, um, in the last podcast. Is that one of my friends who keeps up with Konami, like, it's his favorite company. When they were announcing that Silent Hill was got got cancelled, that was they were, he was saying that that was pretty much a hype game. And it, like, like, like that was just hype. They were going to make the game, but they were just saying it was cancelled to make it hype. Cause look at all of, like all the information and all the shit that happened when it was removed. Like it was removed from PSN, and finally everyone had to make a big deal about it. Like they just loved the game. It's like no. It got removed. You haven't played it in like what five months? Don't act like it's the best game ever. Like, oh god, a demo got removed. Let's make a big deal about it. And he was saying that it was gonna come back. It was gonna get uncancelled, and they just did that to hype up the game. And like, I mean, it worked. <laughs> but they didn't uncancel the game. Yeah, they. Well, they haven't officially, but it looks like they're going to. I would imagine I mean, not, uh, what is that most of the that? line behind the game are not behind it. Anymore. I mean, the game was pretty hyped, though. And, like, it doesn't make much sense to, like, cancel it and then uncancel it. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to produce it. It's going to come out in a year. Like, it just gives people time to forget about it again. It doesn't make much sense. Like, having hype right now isn't going to get you pre-orders. Like, Uncharted 4, which you can pre-order now. For some reason, but yeah, I I guess you can understand because you can't even pre-order the game, but it's still building hype. I mean, all the intention it got just for it being supposedly canceled. I mean, if they did do it like that, sure they got some you know some hype for it, but it's not gonna carry over for like a whole year or something until it comes out. Right, when it comes out, they're not gonna think, oh, it's that game that was canceled and then not canceled and then canceled again and uncanceled. I mean, and then my friends talk about like they've done this before. Have they? I don't, know, I don't keep up with Konami. I don't think they ever have. Well, they've like uncanceled. He said like many times where they've said they canceled the game and then they end up making it anyway. Like they uncancel and it's like, yeah. Does it give any examples? Um, I would have to like, go ask him, and unfortunately he wasn't available for the podcast so we could talk about it. I mean, I it. wouldn't. It wouldn't be too regular thing if they did it once, but I can't imagine them making a habit of that. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I don't believe that they've done it, you know, several times. So, yeah, like maybe. Sure, that's silly because the game like was legit cancelled and then they found some reason to not cancel it. So, I went to go look up, I went, uh, I went to Google. I googled Konami on cancelling games. Mm-hmm. And Google's like, do you mean Konami canceling games? <laughs> Hilarious. <sighs> Google even know that's bullshit. <laughs> Good job, Google. Well, Google go look up kind of Konami canceling game and see if there's anything that released, even though it says canceled. All right, Konami canceled games. Uh, all you get is like Silent Hill stuff. Of course, because that's new. Games Konami cancelled. Uh, so what's what we're talking about now? Well, Konami just can come in like all their bullshit. Apparently, like, hey, games cancelled. Wait, games not cancelled. Hey, I'm leaving the studios. Hey, I'm not. Did he wait? Did he say he wasn't leaving now, or did he? Now He's staying until <laughs> MGS Five. Yeah, like, yeah, MGS5 would be his last one if he's leaving. So after yeah. MGS5, Konami's just dead, right? They're, well, they're, the mobile will be their main platform after that. Well, mobile, gambling, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Wait, they, if, wait, if, what? If, wait, what? Yu-Gi-Oh! Wait. They what? get Yu-Gi-Oh! money. Really? Yeah. And that's a lot of money, actually. <laughs> Apparently. I was unaware of that. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of like, in a, I'm kind of just mind blown about that. Like, how did they get? What did they do? Did was it something that Yu-Gi-Oh ended up using for like something, or did they publish cards or like what? Let me let me look this up. But I know, like, on the back of every single Yu-Gi-Oh card, there's the Konami label. Is that they're committed to new Silent Hills title, but the Silent Hills project developed by. Del Toro, featuring the likeness of Norman Reedus, will not be continued. So, a Silent Hill project is more than likely coming out. But it's like, in terms of Kojima and Del Toro being involved, discussions on future Silent Hill projects are currently underway. Please stay tuned for further announcements. Okay, so... Uh, Konami's the manufacturer of Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. So, they make it. Well, whatever. I mean, I've been never into Silent Hill. Like, I've, I like Silent Hill now, all those games. Like, I played Silent Hill, and it's like, alright, this is kind of cool. I played one for PSP, and I was just like, this is kind of boring, and I stopped playing. Um, so, I'm, it doesn't really affect me. I was just, you know, Metal Gear, Metal Gear was another series I just couldn't get into. Um, so, yeah... Uh, so like for, well for me Silent Hill I never Let's took an interest get in it the because YouTube overriding Konami's video takedown like oh yeah, I saw that in... that's a very that's a very interesting thing because if YouTube now realizes that companies are just pulling bullshit things what's that gonna mean I guess like does mean? YouTube have the ha, does YouTube have the back but, of the community now. Me I think the bigger thing in that is not like not just that it was override, but YouTube overrided it themselves. Like the guy that had the video, or like the partnership that he was with, the company's partnership with, they didn't have to go to YouTube to get them to override it. YouTube overrided it themselves. Well, that's what I mean. Like, does YouTube now understand that this is an actual thing that companies are doing, using this to, for whatever reason, they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, it was like that one indie developer that um, they got mad, like, they were spiteful towards people that posted bad reviews about their game, so they, like, fucking put YouTube claims on all of them to get them taken down so that, you know, there wouldn't be bad reviews about their game on YouTube, which wouldn't affect sales. <clears throat> I remember that, because, um, what was the game that, it, like, had all this drama to it? It was, like... Ah, uh, what game was it? Kitty. Kitty. God damn it. What, Bane? It wasn't Kitty's. My cat's, like, not letting me. Like, he's just, like, all on the phone. Like, stop paying attention to these assholes. Pay attention to me. Do you remember the game or anything? It was, like, gonna, anybody affected? Up. Well, I'm going to uh, it up, actually. I'm trying to wreck my brain too. I'm no. when, I think, when I think of video games and drama, all I can think of is Phil Fish, but I don't think that's it. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn it! Now I have to look it up. Ah, uh, fuck! It was like, uh, it was like, me, uh, it was just like a really bad game. Uh, it's low. Uh, well, like the one I can think of is like, uh, one uh, YouTuber Jim Sterling, who reviews bad games for a living. Yeah, that's the one. Um. Who got taken down uh, because he reviewed a bad game, and then the guys who made the bad game made a review of the review, <laughs> and then Jim and took that and made a review of that, and then the developers decided to DCMA claim all this shit. Yeah, because like they gave him a re review copy of the game, and then he reviewed it, and it was bad, and then they got his video taken down for uh, copyright. Yeah. So, <laughs> but then all that did was make everyone realize that they had a shitty game. If anything, it probably gave it more attention because all of the exactly. bullshit that would happen. But I can't fucking remember the game. It was uh, Skate Man Intense Rescue. No, that's not the one I was talking no, that's about. The, that's the second incident. It's uh, 
I can probably look this up. Uh, Jim, Sterling, bad, take, down? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the Skate Man one. Okay, this is the one, I think. What's funny is like this was recent, right? Uh, no, it was it was like a while ago. The game's green light page is gone. The website for it disappeared. Like nothing about it exists anymore. Yeah, like, I remember the game. It was like a really shitty survival game. It was Not like survival game. It was a first-person game in the jungle. Yeah, I, I know the game. I just can't remember the name of it. It's it's. Ah, oh, God. It's gonna bug the fuck out of me. Okay, um... Let's see here. Oh, Slaughtering Grounds. Slaughtering Grounds. Nope, that wasn't it. That wasn't... No, it's the game. No, that wasn't That's what it. I was referencing. That's it's not what I was referencing. GG. Uh. Then, we, we have two different games then. gonna bug the fuck out of me. Fuck it, we're just gonna move on. I'm just gonna keep looking for it. Okay, so... Uh, but, <sighs> our next topic. I mean, unless anyone else has anything else to say about fucking Konami and how they can't get shit together or we have no idea what the fuck they're doing. It's dead. Um, it's five. All I got to say is that Konami can't get shit together and we have no idea what the fuck they're doing. What should we care at this point? Because what game do we want from them now? It's MGS5. And if they were to cancel... Honestly speaking, I don't even give a shit about MGS, so... So, there's, there's nothing now. Yeah, it's pretty much nothing. Unless they make new Contra. What other what other games do they make that they stop that they can do like a reboot to? Castlevania, Contra. but... <laughs> oh yeah, that's... that's it. That it? But... There's no like... One game they made that was really good, and then we never got a sequel, and it's on the list of I don't know. How about a 2015 HD remake of Teenage Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters? Wait, an HD remaster of Ninja Turtle what? <laughs> Tournament <laughs> Fighters. <laughs> like, tell me why there's this fucking article that saying Konami could suck worse because there's shit about um, switching to mobile games. They got this fucking Silent Veal from Konami. Wait, what? You don't have enough Konami bucks to build horror. Buy yeah, Konami. Yeah, I, 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 I linked that to the chat. And build your own damn scary game. <laughs> I don't fuck. I'm looking at a list of Konami games. It's like soccer, the PS, the PES games, Metal Gear, Frogger. Yeah, they're Frogger. out of projects. <laughs> they're out. They're done. What are you gonna do? They made Frogger. They, I it, guess. At this point, they probably should focus on mobile games because they like, can't even think else. anything they do anymore that matters. Yeah, they got nothing else. They got Frogger again. What's funny is like they actually already got a shit ton of mobile games. Really? Well, yeah, they, like right now, I'm gonna name them. Any new mobile games? Better Gear yeah, Solid that's, Five. That's right. I don't... <laughs> All right, I'll see. Section Winter Soccer Evolution. Like, oh. wait a minute. Nope, not bad. Winter Soccer is not by them. They gave they made Duel generation. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam Pocket. Um, Gradius. Yeah, they got they got a a bit of um fucking oh, mobile game money. <laughs> Apparently. Hmm. So. Yeah, Konami's dead. Moving on. Well, at least... <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like you, you compare this to, like, like well, another recent developer, like, Capcom. And, like, you know, they did a bunch of wrong things. At least Capcom's trying to get the shit together. I mean, not... I mean, what are they doing other than, like, another Street Fighter game that no one really... I mean, yeah, we kind of do fire. want it. Yeah, because that was a big complaint people have with 4, is that they're tired of 4. Um... I and mean, at this point, Capcom has just played extremely safe. Cause like any ma major bust, they're probably done. 
Like, they already had to go to Sony for Street Fighter V. I don't even... That's... And they have, they have to go to Nintendo for Monster Hunter. Oh yeah, that's right. That's Monster Hunter on PlayStation. What, what's Capcom next release? What's 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 a game Capcom's making right now? Let's see here. Oh, that's just great. My Skype crashed, so I was talking to myself that whole time. <laughs> like what they just they, they just released uh, Revelations two. So. <laughs> so exactly. Hey, hey, so, hey. so that's a good point. It's great. Can't wait to shoot zombies all over again. Like, they could, they could attempt to make another Capcom vs. SNK game. I hear oh, SNK. Oh, that actually. Wasn't that would there make some money. rumor about a Rival Schools too. Oh yeah. <sighs> I said bye. Um, isn't there a mo new Monster Hunter game coming out? Mm, also, probably um, in Japan only. That's probably why yeah, we don't is. know about it. It, it. it is. I see it. It's Japan. It's on mobile. Who cares? Oh, mobile. Yeah. I don't even know how Monster Hunter works on mobile. Um, wasn't there another mobile game like on the on the iPod? I never looked into it, but like me playing Monster Hunter, I I just can't fathom how it would work on mobile. I don't know, but apparently, that's probably ne that's honestly Capcom's next game, Street Fighter V. I can't find anything else. <laughs> and then the Capcom's down the shitter. Yeah. Activision somehow flying under the radar. Activision, they're doing good. They got they got freaking Call of Duty, um, Destiny. For some odd reason, people are Best still playing that. Death. Yeah, you guys. Good luck with that. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, they're releasing new DLC. I just want to try it out. Oh, hey, here's here's more ways to, for you to give us money. Pretty much. Hey, hey. Remember the last thing we gave you that you didn't like? Well, here's more of it. Oh, you want more raids? Too bad! Oh, yeah, I said, weren't the, like, the next one not gonna have raids? Yeah. You mean that thing everyone loves doing? Yeah, no more of those. Or oh, no new ones. Oh, you want matchmaking? Too bad! Oh, you want to solo these things? So, to give yourself some more... I don't know, playtime? Too bad! You have to play people! Fuck it. <laughs> Can't find three other people? Too bad. Moving on. <laughs> so, Black Ops 2 beta. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna see because Jin's ready. Uh, 3 beta. Okay. Too bad! <laughs> 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 Too bad! Jin's ready. Too bad! All right, we'll, we'll we'll start talking about the Black Ops Three beta. I mean, we're gonna to. we're gonna bring him in, and have him see what he wants to say about uh about Top Hat, and and then we'll go from there. Passes. It doesn't matter anymore. Jen doesn't. We don't go back just for Jen. We're going back just for Jen. We're not going back to Top Hat. Let us be. We, we all agree it, it's not retractable. It's a fail. <laughs> oh yeah, shit! I forgot. Life is Strange Episode Three comes out like Tuesday. Oh, I need to play that game in general. That I mean, game has a really re release date schedule thing. It's like every five months you get a new episode. The, no, no. Dang, everything comes out Tuesday. Destiny, House of Wolves, The Witcher 3, Wow, what, 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 never mind, I ain't fucking with Destiny. Witcher 3 comes out same day. Y'all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. The Dragon Age DLC comes out May 1st. Who cares? <laughs> really? I, I don't see how Dragon Age was expected to survive longer than after people beat it. Like, all like, they have is multiplayer. And like, I remember buying Origins with all like the you know the Game of the Year edition. All I did was the main game. Cause who the hell cares? Yeah, I did the main game, played the fuck out of the story, and then like there's online. I was like, all right, cool. Let me play this for apparently 20 minutes. All right, well, online's done. I'm trying to see if there's any game I give a shit coming out after um, what about Batman I mean, three before Batman, and I don't see anything. 
Hello, web. Nothing that I really give a shit about, anyway. Wait, did Jin enter you? Well, like Batman again. It's like yeah. Pre -order. Oh, you didn't say anything. Cause I sent you invite. I'm I was here. It. <laughs> All right, I. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Jin. Um, you know, like, what do you like? I don't know. Talk about yourself and what you do on the internet, apparently. Okay, that didn't sound foreboding at all. I don't fucking know, um, man. Just, just say something. Hashtag think it's bitches. Hashtag introduce no. yourself. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hashtag I, I will do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, we, we derailed Jin's fault. Everyone, my name is Jin. Musician. War veteran. War veteran as of Monday. Um, a strange leader of the pixelated table, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and uh, Super Mario World speedrunner. And I get bitches. Quotations on all of that, by the way. And I get bitches. Quotations on the mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I'll have the link to the Facebook group that we're all in if you guys want to join into the, join the next podcast or whatever. Um, so apparently um, we're talking thanks. about top hats, Jin. So, well, we talked about Assassin's Creed top hat if you wanted to say something about that. And Konami and whatever the fuck they're doing, and how they have no real games ever coming out ever. Did you guys see the spreadsheet for the um, mobile Silent Hill game? Nope. Eh. Oh my. I did a mobile. Uh, whoa, what? Mobile Silent, Silent Hill game. I is it that was sounds just... terrible? Is it a new game or is it just like one of the ported games, like Silent Hill One, just on tablets? No, I, I seriously. Hold on. The joke. Oh, I found it. I found it. What the hell is this? Silent Hill Orphan. It's not this. It's not this. It, Back up. It, 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 it's it's a picture. It, it has Pyramid Head wearing a tuxedo. Oh, I just I just oh, linked it. Yeah. I just linked it. I just linked it. The fucking joke. But... Yeah. <laughs> I linked it. It's in the chat. It's hilarious. Now, if this is a joke, actually. It is now a joke. that I'm actually reading it, yes, it, it is probably a joke, yes. But, um, <laughs> but considering what's been happening lately, <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if it were, you know, an actual thing. You know, I would play that game just for Pyramid Head in a Tuxedo. I, 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 that sounds like a, a, a good, legit reason. <laughs> That's the only reason to play that game. Um, I don't know what the hell an Assassin's Creed top hat is, but as far as Konami is concerned, yeah, I mean, Kojima's gone. That that split was really messy. Um, they have a lot of properties. Oh yeah, Igarashi's not there. Like, what do they have left? Oh yeah, that Warner. is so, even so we googled relevant. this. We googled this. We only found one thing. It was Frogger. Okay, what was the what was the link you uh you linked? Because I'm not seeing it. Because did you do it on Skype? I did it on Skype. Because I'm not seeing the link. Yeah, it was for the um the Silentville thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Because the last thing you have is uh be right back. Sorry, and that was it. Well, before that, and I oh. completely missed that um, one you submitted before that did you know gaming image? That's freaking awesome. Here, I sent linked it again. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't know. I thought it was after that. So yeah, I, I did have it. All right. Well, let me bring it up real quick. Well, no, we're talking about how Konami's dead, and then how we compared that to Capcom, and how they're dying, and if they were to screw up again, they'd be dead. Um. I do not think a legitimate comparison can be made to Capcom at this point. Well, you... like, well, look at well, look at Capcom de did a few years ago. They tried making all these games. Wh they all bust. Like Resident Evil well, Six. I mean, Street Fighter X well, Tekken. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to put it this way. Street Fighter Cross Second had a very, very good concept, and honestly, it is a very good game. It's just something about it, how, like. Like, it just had a lot of things that that completely fucked the experience. One, the gyms. Two, the time and how quick it was. Um, 
there were just a lot of fundamental flaws the game had coming from a developer slash publisher that is known for making, you know, games that are meant for a tournament scene, a very competitive environment, and it completely took that away. Mm. Um, and by the time Street Fighter Cross Second became a, a legitimate game, a legitimate competitive game, I mean, which was when the 2013 patch happened, that would mean it had, it had already been the Dark Horse. That was it. Um, now, what else did you say Capcom was... Well, I think, well, I don't, I think the problem with Capcom is, uh, Capcom would, what, what, we can't compare those two because Capcom would make a game that would be good and you would be, that would be good and you would want to play it and then they're just like, no, fuck it with the game's not going to release. Why Konami just kind of just like, just stopped. Like, they didn't like make, hey, this is going to be Castlevania HD remastered, the game everyone wants. Oh, wait, we're not going to make it. Well, what has Cap what has Capcom done that with besides the Mega Man properties? I mean, they kind of like they there was on reports of them talking about Resident Evil and how they don't think Resident like they created survival horror and they were talking about how they don't think survival horror is a good genre or a good type of game to, to make or or sell. It doesn't sell as well. And I could I could find a link for that. Um, Mega I mean, Man. There's um, no, there's no need to have a link for that. I mean. The Resident Evil games didn't sell. They have never sold that well. I would they've know. been good games, but they but they've never been you know as popular as let's say Street Fighter or Mega Man, which is another conversation in and of itself. Mm. But I don't I don't think we can really compare those two. I think they're kind of like messing up in two different ways. Yeah. So to speak, because. I guess the only reason why Capcom gets more shit for it is because, you know, Capcom made, like, made Mega Man. Castlevania, even, like, Castlevania fans, like, they're kind of not... And then they say, like, oh, we want a new Castlevania well, game. it's not like, like Konami is constantly shitting on ca Castlevania fans. Yeah. Well, if you play Lords of Shadow... <laughs> 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 Okay, I didn't play. I, I didn't play Lords of Shadows, so if you want to quickly explain, it was ass, okay. and I shit it on. You played it. Besides that, here's what I'm saying: If you play Lords of Shadow, then my statement goes without saying. They have shit on you and your entire fandom of that series. <laughs> well, I guess one well, thing I could. Okay, so at least stop shitting on the fan base after you know Lords of Shadow Two, but. But Capcom, let's see here, they cancelled Legends 3. They constantly, you know, teased Mega Man and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. They literally I, flipped everyone off in Street Fighter X Tekken. I'm, I, I don't quite think they meant to te- well... What about Fat Mega Man? Oh. They did that, that was a thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, the one thing they did was allow a fan game to be released. Really? All they, that's all they've done two. for Mega Man as of late. Two, I mean, two of them, actually. Two of them? Oh. Um, Street Fighter Cross Mega Man and Mega Man Unlimited. Okay. That's probably, all they've done. They allowed things to exist. Probably two good games. I'm gonna have to look these up. Yeah. Like, they're good games, but... Capcom did nothing other than let them exist. I mean, it's better than, you know... Copywriting them and everything like that, because then Nint freaking Nintendo did that for like a fan-made game, and it looked great. And then, you know, Nintendo came in and was like, "Nah." Fucking Nintendo was gonna fucking Nintendo tried to do that for the um the Super Mario 64 remake on the Unreal Engine. I think that was that was one of them. I know that was one of them because there yeah. was also a fan-made um, fighting game that was like Nintendo was just like, "No." Yeah, they're they're really shitty about that kind of thing. But like that that fucking Super Mario sixty four remake on Unreal Engine, that shit looked beautiful. That shit looked amazing, dude. I was like, this is Mario, man, got hair on his balls now. I think I killed. Him. 
As far as Mario in, um, in HD, I prefer watching him in an explosion on Mario Kart 8. And, and we already know my... We're, I mean, at least Jen knows my fucking feels for Mega Man, um, for Mario Kart. <laughs> what you guys just Mario Kart? Please? Let me guess, were you blue shelled as a child? <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck, fuck that, because oh, I was blue oh. four times in one race and still won. No, so, no. No, no, fuck, fuck you. Fuck I'm more you. sad about no. Mario Kart because of the battle mode in 8. The battle mode they removed, which no yeah, one really played exactly. till, which whatever. No, but, no. Dude, you they should... play that? What, what, are you talking about? what oh. for an hour out of the total 300 hours you spent playing the game? I probably played more battle than I did regular Mario Kart. Well, fuck you too, then. <laughs> but, Battle's at least, fun. my beef with Mario Kart... I, I get, I, there's some things I just don't like about Mario Kart 8. Just little nitpicks that were just like, no. Is it because items? Yes, that's one of them. But, they hate that too. But, um, I like, one, I like Mario Kart 7 over 8. And then, like, just Mario Kart, because of Mario Kart Wii, because of Mario Kart, like. What's wrong with Wii? Yeah, um. Mario Kart Wii was. No. Like, Normally I would side with you guys on this, but I watched what happened with Wizard on Mario Kart Wii, and uh, <laughs> that, by anyone's standards, that was pretty bad. What happened? I once got blue shelled twice before finishing a match. Among blue others, blue twice right before I finish. He was blue shelled oh. twice right before finish line. Like he 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 experienced multiple five car pileups. Still out of synchro carrot carrot. Like, well, I mean, like could, I said, I like, got blue shit no, times. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is you could tell the CPU was aggressively after him because whenever he was hit with anything, like, four other fat asses would, like, just fly and bump over him and then fly over him like a fucking Blues Brothers scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. um, just real quick pause. Well, well, just real quick pause. Uh, I want to thank, um... Hopper, Hopper donated a dollar. <laughs> he used to tell me that the audio is out of sync. I'm still working on it. Like, I've been working on it for like a while. Was, was he but... this player? Was, was he this? Was it this? Was he, was he in this video? No, but like, you see, all, of, all the videos you watch where it's like, oh, look at this shit that happened to him. That happened to me. That happened to me. Like, Ex except everything in all those videos happened in one sitting. <laughs> oh god, that video! I saw it once, and I just I couldn't help but cry. Like god, I, I, I saw this video. When I saw this video, <laughs> when I saw this video, I was like Mario Kart Wii. Like all the memories and all that shit that happened. <laughs> this is. <sighs> <sighs> this was me. This was me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Link the video wow. to the chat. Like, this was me. What? Like, I showed it on stream, but, like, that was me. Except, because I would, my favorite, my most used character was Toad. And I was, <laughs> and Toad's the lightest character in the game. So this shit would happen, like, I remember, I remember one time, I'm going for, you know, I'm going for the goal. I'm in first place. I have a banana <laughs> that I'm holding, and I have another banana behind me. It's like, all right, cool, I got this. So, three red shells come after me, which use up two of my bananas, and then I get hit. I got blue shelled, lightning bolt. I want to say I also got bullied twice, like, uh, because I think while Wario and Donkey Kong. Like, Wario hit me into Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong hit me back, which I think hit me off the edge, or hit me out into the... I either fell off the road, or I went into the dirt zone, and then I get out of it, and I got Lightning Bolt again, and in the game, I just stopped. I just stopped. I was like... Ultra! Ultra! You know, I would have stopped that fucking I Mario, Donkey Kong, like, alley -oop. I could have reached out and finished the match. That's how close I was. This all happened, like, arm's reach from finishing the match. And I'm just like, can I just inch forward, please? And none of the stuff that hit me do that. Otherwise, I would finish the match. They hit you to the side or hit you back. So it's like, are you fucking serious? I am arm's reach from finishing. And you want to... Uh, 
Well, you look. You was that close to the finish line. Joe, you still over there sleep like a little bitch. Yo, yo, no, fuck Wait. you. I have a world. No one else. I, no, no one, one is gonna get that. Why? Why, why are you doing this? Ex excuse <laughs> me, but I'm a Mario Kart Wii player, and I got blue shelled six times in one race. Please explain that to me. Well, uh, exactly. Fuck, fuck that, I man. I can explain it. Look, this is what happened. The game was horrible. That's what you happened. Kept getting, you kept getting your bitch ass in first place. The see, the thing is, is that. I would get blue shells. I would get blue shells. I would go to second or third, and then I would work up to get to first place. And then, like, I would enter first place again, and then get blue shell. And see, after after the third time, because I got, of course, went to second or third, maybe fourth, got back to first, got blue shells again. After the third time, I was just like, well, because like at that time, I was self aware of how much of dick this game was. So I was kind of like, all right, cool. Let's see how many no. times this can happen. And I fucking got you, six let times. Let me tell you some bullshit. I was playing the fucking game with Deshaun. He was in second place. They gave this asshole a blue shell. In second <laughs> goddamn place. I've had, I've had that happen. And I'm just like, you son of a bitch. So like when he threw it at me, I was looking behind me the whole time. Soon I, I slowed down and everything. As soon as his ass came close, we both got hit by that bitch. I've had times. I've had times where I would get a blue shell in fucking second place, and then like this would be um on was this Mario Kart Wii? I want to say it was online. You see, or online or like I was playing with friends, um, and then like right before the fucking finish line would just be blue shell, and there's like nothing you can do because there wasn't enough time. Because I would literally be right behind you, like I could probably bitch slap you. That's how close I would be. You should have been looking out for that damn blue shell then. Shit. And this is like, no, I was, I was, I was the one with the blue shell. I was just saying how bad that game's system was. I think he just need better skills. I know, right? Like, get good, like this. Oh, because me stopping someone yeah, from getting blue shell. I mean, me stopping someone from getting a blue shell in third place, second place. That's that's based on my skill. Why don't you okay, just look better? It looks better because Death Star Luigi is awesome, but Death Star Luigi holding a banana is just fucking gold. But, like, my question to you is, like, why don't you just avoid the blue shell, though? In Mario Kart Wii, the only way to avoid the blue shell was to get a mushroom and time it fucking perfectly. Well, but I used to why aren't you pro as heck, dude? Okay, when you're in first place, the chances of you getting a blue shell, I mean, you getting a, uh, a mushroom is low. This is why you get a three mushroom before you hit first place and just hold on to that some bitch. So excuse. let's just assume he's able to choose that. Okay, yeah, let's do. Oh, let's do, let's yeah, let's go with that. Let's say I I got three mushrooms and I go to first Actually, place. How lucky you are! You probably get like lightning bolts in. Here's a better three. question. You understand this game? This punishes people in first place. Why do Wait. you continue to be in first place? Why don't you hang around second until the end? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're only half right. That game punishes human players in first place. If there is an AI in first place, they will stay in motherfucking first place. That is true. Still, I win all the damn time. You can eat this dick all the damn what time, you do. but fuck that. I'm telling you what I saw. <laughs> <sighs> You that y'all some fucking scrubs. Wow. Man, fuck you. I'm not, if there was a Mario, there. if there was a Mario Kart fucking like Evo shit, my ass would be going there. Like fuck, bro, I fucking kick ass in Mario Kart, man. Not as Please. much as I did. Like Clearly, now, if you keep getting your ass beat at the finish line, the the thing is, is that I wouldn't lose. Like, when I lose matches in Mario Kart, it wasn't because of I was doing badly. It was because I'm about to finish the third lap and win but, the race, and shit would go downhill. Question. But let me ask you a question, though. But did you win? Not in the times where it's like, hey, yo, you're winning too much. Time to fuck you up. <laughs> but did you win? I won a lot. Fucking... 99... I won a lot. 
99% of my matches were fucking wins in first place. So you're, only, you're only remembering all the, the the few amount of bad times. The few. <laughs> I still yeah, got bullshit like to get those bad. wins. Of you, all, all of your victories, you're basing this on one loss. One loss. <laughs> okay, bullshit. okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let's consider this for a second. You are in a parking lot, an empty ass fucking parking lot. <laughs> there is a rock sitting in the center of this parking lot. You are in a car. You can park anywhere the fuck you want. You somehow hit that rock. That is what happened to him. Pretty much. It now, one goddamn match. Okay, now another thing I want to tell you it about- It was bad. It I, was bad. I want to tell you something about these races, is that they wouldn't happen on- I would be doing the World Cup- the Cups. So there's four races, right? I wouldn't- this, this wouldn't happen on the first cup. I mean on the first race or the second race. This would happen on the fourth one to where this would matter because getting gold or getting the, the top score, you had to get 10 coins on each race you had to get in first place and I believe you also had to do it uh, pretty fast like you couldn't take your time and that's how you got the best score for the cup all this shit what happened on the third lap of the fourth race where this was the this reward ended and then I would have to complete the whole fucking cup because of bullshit like that so that's one thing that was like that's another welcome to life <sighs> no how did we well... Mario Kart what? Let me just see. How did it Mario Kart? I don't know. Let me just say that, you know, stop fucking sucking. <laughs> so, and, 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 oh, and, and let me just tell you to stop sucking Miyamoto's dick, because apparently he's doing something for you in those games. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> you, 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 you have purchased some kind of premium service in Mario Kart that allows you to not get wrecked. You have some sort of good luck. Yeah. Why are you sucking Maurice's dick right now, though? You, because he he sat there and oh, watched oh, me. The, I was oh, sat there sucking your dick. He was he was time. sitting he was sitting next Scally. to me, watching me <laughs> do this. Scally, shut the fuck up! Look, I was in the room as this happened. I was sitting on his couch watching the screen. His couch? Are you finessing for dick here? Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to what what happened to Maurice in Mario Kart that day should be a meme. That's how bad it was. Okay. I, okay, I understand that point. Okay, I understand that point. But now I have to voice another question. Did it oh, happen? God. He was getting sticks up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's move on to something else. Uh, next fuck you uh, guys. Fuck you guys. Crush. <laughs> no, no. You know what? Something I actually did want to bring up. What? What do you guys feel about spirit, spiritual successors? Because Mega Man successor, Castlevania successor, and I, I can't remember the third one. Ukulele. That are just. They just get their freaking goal in like the first day. Like, because people want them. That de think about. It depends yeah. on the game. Yeah, um, really. I've not. Well, I'm talking about. I've not played Might Ever Nine. I mean, as a client, as it. No, it's not. No, you're right. Like, if, if the game is good, I don't give a fuck. But here's the thing: I'm one of the minority that didn't like Bioshock at all. Because you're just and a bad person. Bio and you are fucking correct about that. <laughs> but I, that is a successor to System Shock. A series of games that I did like. Actually, I did like System Shock too, but I also like Bioshock. So. I fucking love Bioshock. But I also it did like. Be... What? I said I liked System Shock and Bioshock. So. Yeah. I don't. Know. I unfortunately did not like. I unfortunately didn't get to play System Shock because. Well, shit. Go download now. Now, as a Metroid fan and as a Castlevania fan, there's no way this game can be totally bad, especially with, you know, Igarashi doing this whole thing. That's as far as the Castlevania successor is concerned. My number nine, I'm pretty confident about that, too. It's going to be okay. Um, as far as what I think about them, I mean, these people were kind of handed the dick as far as their situations with the developers were concerned. What do you mean by that? <laughs> like, they kind of got screwed were... by the publishers. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Like Konami, so, Microsoft, and Rare. 
And yeah. Then, so and basically, if, Cap, if if Konami were to release a Castlevania without Igarashi, cough, fucking Lord Shadow, cough, it would suck. <laughs> cough. Much like if, much like, much like if Capcom were to, and, you know, find some other developer or some other producer to develop a Mega Man game, X or otherwise, it would be bad. Case in point, X7, X8. I remember because I played both of them. <sighs> None of them were particularly bad games. They just kind of didn't try. Yeah, they they weren't bad. They just weren't up to the standard. They wanted to print money. Like that... seven and eight were honestly shovelware. Yes, in my opinion, it is. Spiritual successors, it's a good thing. It's the people who work behind the games we love getting a second chance. What's not to hate about that? Like, Bye -bye. sure, there's the, there's the whole Kickstarter thing, and if it'll ever come out, but that's always an issue with this sort of things. But I'm just saying, like, there's the, well, every time there's a spiritual successor of something we want, like, people. Not as much as a new Mega Man game, but people do want a new Castlevania game, and then there's no new Castlevania game, and then like, Suspiro Successor to Castlevania! Bam! Like, it is, are we going to see more Suspiro Successors? You know what I, I mean. I mean, in light of all the success they're having, I wouldn't put it past another company to sort of revive an old franchise that's really popular. A spiritual successor to Chrono Trigger. Yes! <laughs> See, you said that. Corner Cross. Next subject, please. Corner Cross 2, Electric Boogaloo. Moving on. We need to make a spiritual successor to Corner Cross, then. Can I get a Dark Cloud 3? Spiritual successor? <laughs> please? Asshole. Um, that, 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 that's, uh, not a spiritual successor. That's, uh, a fucking sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I just you want, want a successor to a sequel. I don't fucking care. I just want, <laughs> I just want more Dark Cloud. <laughs> Leave me alone. We go play Dark Cloud. Oh. I'm actually thinking about streaming Dark Cloud, but um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Candy Crush. What about it? Uh, um, apparently um, it's can, gonna be pre-installed all in Windows 10, Candy like, Crush. You know what's funny? I, I saw that and I thought of that. I thought that to be like one of the most insignificant things on the face of the earth. And <laughs> it really is. here we are. Let's discuss it. Let's <laughs> discuss it. We're gonna, so we're gonna all have every installed. Windows phone. Will come with it pre-installed and you no, just... No, no, no. Not only phones, the OS. The actual Windows 10 OS. You are set for life. You have Candy Crush. Computers. All computers. <laughs> Windows 10. bullshit, because I was going to do that free upgrade to Windows 10. Now I'm just like, well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, fucking sold. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you, like, remove it? I hope so. Of course you can install it. You would find a way. What if they got this shit like permanently installed? Like, no. It ain't, it ain't, going, it ain't going no fucking way. <laughs> it's a new Windows norm, like fucking Solitaire and Minesweeper. Like, you try to uninstall that shit, like, it, it just boy. Says, it just says yeah. no. <laughs> it's like, delete, no. Delete, no. Are delete, you, no. Are, Uninstall, no. Install. Like, like, it, it, mean it, play? It, it, an air window just pops up that says nah, son. <laughs> Or like, like, when you install, it just opens the game. <laughs> <laughs> you want to delete game. Opening Candy Crush. Wait, what? Like, oh, sir, sir, you're doing Candy that wrong. <laughs> you're supposed to press this button instead. Unlock, work, unlock, uninstall like, button for five dollars. Inside your house. Oh, God. That's I uninstall mean, some type shit. <sighs> that that would be a definitely troll. Delete game. Now starting the game you tried to delete. It's like delete game. Fuck you. <laughs> yes. Are you kidding? <laughs> or they would just like link Candy Crush to your System Thirty Two folder. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just evil. You try to you try to start. It's the, the only, it's it's the only way to be sure. You try to delete the game, and, and the, the yep, song just troll la 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 troll la 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 as the game boots up. <laughs> but now the operating system knows you tried to delete it, so everything you do, you hear the fuck 
Andy Crush <laughs> uh, music in the background. In the background. <laughs> Fucking playing League and you hear Candy Crush. Like, what? Phone's not even on. Hey, like, I imagine that shit would hunt the fuck out of you. You're playing some shit like Five Nights at Freddy's or oh, some shit. Or like, Andy Crush music plays. Fresh music stars playing. Uh, yes. That's bad. So we're just gonna uninstall it. Or not get it within <laughs> 10. Simple as that. Next hey, topic. Oh, What's the side, next topic? Side note, like, if you play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 or 3, put the Halloween music in the background as you play that shit. It's oh funny. god. I don't, even need, I don't even need to go there. So whenever I want to play a jump scare game, yeah, I get right on that. No. Um, let's hear the That's vision totally. being delayed. No one. I mean, I the vision got delayed. I, I already saw that coming. So. Okay, we should make a support group. Moving on. <laughs> we're, gonna delay. Make a, we're gonna make a make a game delay Facebook group where we all all we do is just bitch about games being delayed and crying over it and supporting each other. What, what is that even gonna be? Someone's gonna post about it and Wait. then every comment after that's gonna be like fuck and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the takes to play a table. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, kind of what we do around here. That's, I'm trying to think of a game that's coming out. Back of Ar uh, Batman's Arkham uh, Knight, delayed again. Sad face, Fuck. what? Come on, I right, just pre-ordered it. The Division face. delayed again. Oh, what? Fuck. Again? Come on. Yeah, to 2016. Isn't that Tom Clancy game coming out, actually? Finally. Um, Tom Clancy's so. uh, Siege War Siege? Is it Tom Clancy's Siege? That game that was supposed to be extremely good, but then they made that. Yeah. Tom Clancy's something else other than the Division is what that just called. what it's supposed to be Patriots? The Patriots? No, it's 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 like they're mixing. Tom Clancy not Tom uh Tom Clancy not the Division or Assassin's Creed, the game. Yeah, exactly. Well, well I mean like remember a few years ago they announced like Tom Clancy's the Patriots. It looked really know. good. It looked really fucking But then they made whatever they just made. And it looks, like, it looks like some crappy team-based game. Uh, Vision being delayed. Surprise. Like, right. I kind of saw that coming. Grand Theft Auto 5 got delayed how many times? When was it supposed It was supposed to come out? Like, weren't they trying to get it out this year? They were Well, at first they were trying they, to get it out right. like... The end of last year, then they were like, "It's not gonna happen. It's delayed to this year." And uh, but then they had already kind of put disclaimers in, and it was like, you know, 2015 is actually being optimistic. Um, in reality, it might be 2016. Like right when they first delayed it, they said that. So it's not really a huge surprise, but at the same time, you know, fuck you guys. Legend of Zelda delayed. You know, yeah, I keep well, thinking. I'm kind of okay at this though. Okay, so we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on to E3 topics, uh, E3 related things. But I feel like I don't know. My friend brought this up, but he says that I feel like they said Zelda not gonna be at three E3, and then they're going to do some bullshit thing where they're just like, oh yeah, here's some Zelda uh, at E3 gameplay. And then, like, everyone's just like, oh my god, they said it wasn't here, but it's here, and I'm even more excited. As, like, a little haha -ha joke. And it's like, I could kind of see them doing that. It was there, I mean, I don't see any reason for there not to be footage, but the fucking game is delayed, so it's just teasing your dick at this point. When was it delayed to? <laughs> One time, I just want to come in to, like, at E3, be like, they show this fucking game that looks fucking phenomenal, and then maybe like, and then out. comes in this year. It is. It's or it's it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It's just gonna take a while, and the game is called uh, Uncharted Four or or Fallout no, Four. Fuck that. Fuck that. I want some. I want a company to show a game that they hadn't been teasing the whole time and shit. Just show that shit at E3, and then be like, comes, comes out. out tomorrow. Tomorrow, bitches. <laughs> We're going oh. to rise. <laughs> I just like, oh, thought you were gonna have to wait a year for this shit. Nah. Like, Come, as much as now, play it tomorrow. The, as much as I would, I would appreciate that. That's some shit I would do. I mean, you hey, wouldn't get, 
You would get that. It's weird because you would get sales, but at the same time, you wouldn't because everyone who's at E3 couldn't buy the game. I mean, they could purchase it if they do it from their tablet, but everyone at home would kind of like, hey, go buy the game instead of watching E3 and stuff like that. So they can probably do that before a commercial. But Capcom, when Capcom did that, I, I forgot how to cap. They bought like a trailer for like their. Uh, I know. I know. Sony's done that before too. I thought that was so fucking cool because it's like Dead Rising Alpha Beta Ultimate Remix Redux out soon. I mean now. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna watch. Oh yeah. It. Was that it? Was that any good? I don't know. I don't. I don't have an Xbox One. <laughs> I heard it was. It was really fun. You just fucked around with it, but it wasn't like. I mean, it was free, so everyone got it. But apparently, being free and everyone get it wasn't. Good enough to have everyone hyped over it, so no. All right then. Cool. <laughs> what else is happening at E3? I mean, uh, Fallout Four is gonna be what now. Is the... <laughs> what, if it, what if it isn't Fallout? What if it's Doom? <laughs> what if it's Doom? They it's would have to be, They would have yeah, to be, That is hardcore trolling. You don't say. You don't get your own. It's trolling with another game. Like, tr oh hey, here's you. You don't get the gist game you want. You get this game you want. Wait, but the thing. Pre That's the thing, though. Doom? That's the thing. I don't want it. <laughs> I want Fallout. Doom it's... Four. Now of more darkness. Doom Four, but that's the edition. <laughs> <laughs> Doom Four. No way. It's actually Fallout Four. Just, it's Fallout Doom title. Four. They make it's 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 Doom, but with a Fallout theme, but it's not Fallout 4 like you want it. Maybe they'll put both games in the same disc and dare you to tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Doom 4 Borderlands Edition. Dude, that would be that would be. Dead. I'd, I'd that oh all. my God. Borderlands. Monopoly's <laughs> done it. All right, Doom, so you know, Doom 4 so. Skyrim Edition. Guys, <laughs> we're going back to Konami. For uh, this picture. This is an actual picture. I just gotta see this. Uh, I'm freaking it. Skyrim edition. Let me guess. <laughs> Someone stole your flashlight. Well, good to see Konami's doing well. <laughs> that is a slot machine, folks. Uh, I'm loading up the They're picture. Doing so well. And that is a slot machine. <sighs> GG. <sighs> Well. Alright, pictures loading, pictures loading, pictures loading, and... <laughs> How the fuck's that even gonna work? Like, every time something hits in the slot machine, it makes like a, a Belmont whip sound? What the fuck? Ah, uh, I got nothing. Konami, your words know. are as empty as your soul. I don't okay. know, Konami is just... If they just remake Contra, I would, I would buy a <laughs> thousand copies. Okay, but would it be good? It would, be a we... it would not be good. It would not be the Alien Wars. Nothing will ever be the Alien Wars. But it's Contra. It's like Contra, Contra rebirth, rebirth, by the way. But um, that being said, what the fuck? <laughs> That's all you can say. That's like <laughs> the only thing to say in regards to this. So but. yeah, Konami's dead. Moving on. Um. So PC. PC has its own booth at E3. Wait, what? PC. Okay. So there's gonna be like them talking about PC games and games so on just, Steam. So it's just a bunch of indie. So it's Valve and a bunch of indie devs getting together. Pretty much. Oh, hey guys, it's, it's you guys pay for this light, you know, area. You know, put all, all our branding on it. It's just funny because some people are like, "Oh shoot, E, uh, they're gonna announce fucking Fallout 3. I mean, fucking Half-Life 3." Yeah, no, it's not happening. They would, they would sooner release some other. <laughs> can, I get, can I get Left 4 Dead 3? They would sooner release some sort of obscure title that they have than Half Life 3. Left 4 Dead 3, goddammit. No, 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 let's see here. Valve Games. Let's, let's... Left 4 Dead 3, goddammit. No, no, let's see, let's see what games the Valve made. They, they would sooner make a sequel. For Por uh, Portal, Left 4 Dead. I just said Left 4 Dead 3, guys. MMO Ricochet would be fucking awesome. They would sooner Portal make a sequel one. to Alien Swarm. 
than they okay. would Half Life Three. They would sooner make a sequel. To I'm looking for something. Give me <laughs> I feel like what if what if they made Half Life Three and it's fully public, it's fully made, it's fully done, and they're just sitting there, just like, when do you want to release this? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like they just wake up every so often they have like a meeting they're sitting down they're just like um you guys want to release half-life 3 nah let's wait yeah, until maybe they they're stop just asking polls. for it all the, all this time every day they have a poll of whether they should release it and it's thus far it's all been no they don't want to release it yet <laughs> i feel like they're just waiting until we're just like you know what i'm done waiting for half-life 3 fuck half-life 3 it's, if it's it comes gonna out 50 it's, years from now. it's gonna be bullshit exactly. it's, it's gonna be it took them forever we waited forever and ever for it it came out and it was not great you, you can't don't, you can't live up to the hype you can't i don't care what anyone says like it's not gonna if here we go half-life Half 3 will never live up to the hype Half-Life 3, Duke Nukem Edition. Ah, uh, dude. Half-Life 3 would never live. Oh, so Gordon Freeman taking a fucking five minute piss just like Duke Nukem. <laughs> so my friend is- You so, let down like Duke Nukem. Of course. Well, yeah, okay, uh, is it gonna be a, a huge letdown? Wonder. Is it gonna be a huge letdown by not living to the hype or a huge letdown by just being a bad game? Um, <laughs> Bad game. I think it'll. Well, well you know, in order to live up to the hype, it would have to be a good game. I think it'll be a good game, but just not what everyone was expecting. Yeah. Like, Half Half Life Two is a great game, and it, it is aged quite well. But despite the love people give it. If you take the mechanics in that game and compare them to what's happening today and what is going to continue happening, releasing a game of that stature right now simply would not fit well at all. Yeah, they would have to make like, something that's more. more they need to like redo standpoint. FPS. But again, like in 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 an age where the FPS, your average FPS has pretty much become brown and green shooter. Three with with fucking iron sights, like they would have to do something really goddamn innovative to make Half Life Three stand out. It's now. You know and I, game. You know what that? You know what it is? You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna make. They're gonna make some. They're gonna release everyone's game. It's going to be called. It's gonna be Left for Portal, Life Three, and it's gonna have all three of those games in one. You're gonna run around as Portal you're gonna run around with portal oh. guns while zombies oh. are attacking you. Oh, <laughs> oh. That. That. So because, can you imagine a fucking tank coming through a portal that you just set there to get through a fucking door? <laughs> hey, but at the same time, you can just like, hey, look, a tank's coming at you. Portal on the wall. Portal, a uh, portal on the floor. Portal over there. Fuck you. GG. The thing is, no one really thinks that fast, so they wouldn't be able to get it out the wait in time. See, well, the thing is that at first we're just like too scared because you know zombies are jumping through portals that are coming from somewhere, but at the same time it's like I can make my own portals. Yes, and every time you make a portal, there's gonna be a tank coming out at your ass, and the tank will have a medic with it. No, no, really. like you know. Fortress 2, it's gonna happen. Medics, snipers, all that shit. Make a point. You call this upon yourself. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, stop right there, motherfucker. I did not bring this into existence. Maurice well, I, did. About Maurice called it upon himself, but. Oh. <laughs> Give right. us another yeah, counter -strike. Asshole. Was Counter Strike made by Valve? Yes. Oh. Uh, huh. Actually, no. What, no, no. They bought G the original mod and then they built from that. Ah. But, but Geo hasn't even been out that long. Get the fuck out of here with that. Uh. Well, compared to the originals, yeah, it hasn't. Ah. Because <sighs> like source, shot, source, like Counter Strike source is like what over ten years old now. Yep. Yeah. It, it, I think I'm it's even more than global offensive, sir. I know, but compared. Like, it's not, it's not old compared to the other ones. That's yeah. what I mean. Mm. I know, I'm just saying, why would they make another Counter-Strike right now? They yeah. wouldn't. Like, Counter like the current Counter-Strike is like hats. 
It's all hats. Old gauntlets. Wait, wait, wait. So oh! Counter-Strike has hats? No, they have gold gu Like, any cosmetic items in a Valve game, you call them hats. TM Fortress oh, 2 has actual hats. Okay. Ah. Counter-Strike uh, Counter has guns. Dota yeah. has... Literally anything they could put something on. <laughs> if you can customize it, it's in Dota. <laughs> customize yeah, your base. Like, what's funny is that <sighs> about um, Geo is like, if you go in there and you play for a little bit and you get some shit and you put shit up for auction, people will like go pay like $50 for some shit. Dude, like, look, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the market for the uh, kind of shit right now. Let's see here. I, a I should not like skin for a sniper rifle. One person that I know, like he unlocked a skin, like he got a skin and shit, and he had only been playing for a good like few hours. Put the shit up for sale on the market and made like fifty fucking dollars. Man, fuck. Most expensive thing on the market right now, four hundred and forty-six dollars. Fucking for what? Knife. For a... a knife skin. I. I'm... And someone's gonna, gonna later. buy that bitch. Somebody's gonna buy that some bitch. Yeah. I understand something. This is just all we can see on the market. There's like a bunch of backroom deals like Reddit pages and blogs and shit. This entire site where it's literally a roulette where people put shit in and hundreds of thousands of dollars of skins come out and wait look at the look at the median price sales like just of april of last year for this fucking item like it sold for over 150 dollars what the fuck is life right now <laughs> what is life fuck like this i'm gonna play counter strike and i'm gonna get skins <laughs> and i'm gonna sell them for like half of what they're on the market and that's how i'm gonna get through life like you'll be able to buy all your fucking steam games I'm gonna live on selling skins. <laughs> Good luck with that. Might not want to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> take it out. Take it out. You will. No, no, no. You think this is ridiculous? Let's look at T Team Fortress Two. Look at Team Fortress Two. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Five hundred and ten dollars. <throat> what? Fuck. I don't. No, no. Four hundred dollars. Guess what? what Guess what it's for? Guess what it's for? Shit better be like a jewel encrusted sombrero. <laughs> that shit, it better come with like five bitches that are of all different races. It's a fucking what? key! Are you serious? <laughs> yes, a key to what? It's a goddamn self made Manco supply crate key. It better be the key to fucking life. That shit better unlock the seat. That better, shit better unlock the door to understanding <laughs> women or something. Cosmos. <laughs> Better what be, use? Better what be, use? It better be the key to fucking trip the Gotham or some shit. It's like people got buy <laughs> requests. Goddamn cheaply. Person has a buy request of $101.95. So like people are willing to pay a hundred plus dollars for this fucking thing. But like this person's just like, nah, son, come up to four hundred, then we can talk. What a goddamn key! Three hundred and ninety-six dollars for a tot. Man, I'm I'm done. Let's let's click that. Let's go to the next clip. <laughs> oh whoa, ne whoa! Did did anybody see like the fucking buy and sell orders the cumulative? For what? We are done with this. Thing. I don't feel like doing this anymore. Someone! Oh god. Someone actually bought a kit at $391. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. Well, some three people have bought it for over 400 Yeah. Ah. I understand something. The limit on Steam is $500. So you can go to like Reddit pages and trade blogs and go into like the thousands. Well, shit, I remember the real work of second place for Diablo, and like, when I was on PC and Diablo came out, I sh put people the were, fuck that shit on the real world. The people real were, world. like, paying off the game by just selling shit on that. That's I, I was paying, like, I, 
the first within the first week of the fucking game, like I had already made it so fucking far in it, and I was making a shit ton off selling. How much did you make? I made a good like six hundred dollars that week. GG. Nope. Next topic. So. <laughs> so, 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 See, so no. Thank you. Hats. Thank you. People next topic. Black Ops Three. You Not can. Okay. Nope. You can have on. We're, we're, it's gonna be Witch the Witcher. You can have sex on unicorns. Three. Yes. With a hat. Fuck you. Right. No longer talking about hats. I'm talking about fucking the, and having the, sex the on a unicorn. Whatever. Rainbow. You can have her jerk you off while you jerk the horn unicorn's horn off at the same time. The unicorn's not real. Once, once again, The Witcher Three, Rainbow Come. <laughs> what? That's like you're saying rain. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, come what is? What, I, what? I don't even. This reminds me of that this what video I once saw called "Shake That Bear," <laughs> but that's that's something different. <laughs> <sighs> so I don't. I haven't played any Witcher games, so I I don't know if I I I'm of course interested into it, but I've I have no idea. I've never played a Witcher game. Honestly speaking, if I hadn't lost my eyesight like the last few days, I probably would have streamed The Witcher One and Two leading up to The Witcher Three. But I'm blind, Brittany. That's what happens when you break your glasses. I break, she broke them. That's what happens when you let people break your glasses. I didn't let anything happen. She was just like, fuck your glasses and snapped them in half. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like her. <laughs> See, Jen agrees. Because he gets bitches. Because he gets God, bitches. that is not even a remote connection. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, say hi to the... Hi. Hi, podcast. Bye, people. Ask goddamn it. I mean, hey. <laughs> I mean, hey. Bring upcoming stream will be pretty, pretty bang bang playing just dance. Shit will be hilarious. It needs to be her getting a screwdriver and some tape and repairing some goddamn bifocals. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> That's what needs to. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I'm not. No. That's 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 what needs to be. Chris, Chris needs to see again. I need I need this man to be productive, and you are fucking up my whole operation right now. <laughs> <laughs> this man said that shit like he was producing cocaine. Like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in at the wrong time. Did you talk to that girl though? <laughs> Oh shit! <sighs> but no, my glasses will be here on Monday, so I will be available to start streaming again. Hey, Maurice, yeah, you're streaming The Witcher, right? Uh, I'm still debating to even get the game. You're not getting The Witcher? Uh, uh. I get, I get paid on Friday. We'll talk about that later. Um. Either way, we gotta stream something. Yeah. At as dual stream at some point. Oh. Uh, I, I'm home on Monday. Can't wait. Shut up, Jen. And he can start my stream finally. And and he'll have all his bitches in the background, just Not doing even, just like, doing I'm, whatever. I'm tuning in. Fuck out of here with that shit. Single <laughs> one. Of Jen streams and putting hashtag Jen gets bitches and then leaving and then I'm gonna come back like an hour later and do it do again. Do the sin. <laughs> I will ban the fuck out of you. All right. <laughs> I will make several accounts named Jen's bitch one, Jen's bitch two. <laughs> See, watch Jen's gonna get cameras and he's gonna get cameras for each one of his bitches and and the chat's gonna be able to switch cameras at will. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm put, put Jen Chris, bitch Chris, and Jen the abbreviation of the city. I'll ban, I'll, I'll, I'll ban you, I'll ban your wife, fuck your dreams, <laughs> fuck your life.
Don't do it. <laughs> what about my hats? Look, look, but look, okay, Gene, hear me out, hear me out. No, no, stop, man, what about the hats? Get the hats? No. No, fuck it, the hats. It, fuck it, hats, it, fuck keys, <laughs> fuck skins. <laughs> Camel skins, <laughs> keys, and hats, you can eat a dick. It's fucking selling it. Fuck it. Your fucking Skype avatar doesn't even have a head. Why do you want hats for? <laughs> Imagine this. Jen's bitches bunch. Oh, Next God. subject. Okay, guys, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, Black Ops 3. No one cares about it because none of you guys play Call of Duty, and I'm probably the only one who actually looks into actually getting the game, which I'll probably end up getting anyway. And I really like what you're doing with whoa, how whoa, it's not whoa, fully. Oh, there. Oh, stop. The, the, stop. The yeah, stop. you're the Treyarch game. I'm very interested. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, Black Ops 3 is a good game. It's a good game. I think it's fun, but you know what happened to tarnish that whole thing? It wasn't fun? Ghosts happened! <laughs> Ghosts happened. happened! Ghosts was a game! Ghosts, Ghosts was a game. I'm sorry, yeah. Ghosts was a game. It, that is the only good thing I can say about it, and I can barely say that! <laughs> it existed! At one point. <sighs> Ghosts Some people... happened. I don't know, I have a neutral Art? feeling for... Well, at least Duty. this one. This one has a beta. For, I don't. Th they don't need a beta. They don't need a beta. It's just right, to build hype. But yeah, it's, but it's a hype builder. This at least no, gives they're, you they're okay. not we, we 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 are gonna give you this beta so you can tell us how much you like the same fucking mechanics. Okay. Hey, hey, anyway, hey. That's my rage. It's it's fine um, when Mar does joke. it. That, 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 <laughs> I just, as a person who plays Call of Duty and fucking Mario Kart, people need to stop, shut the fuck up, cause... I, but the thing is, we don't get a new Mario Kart every year. I mean, well... that's, we could if Nintendo wanted, if Nintendo legit wanted a new Mario Kart every year, they could. Yeah, but they don't want it. But they don't. Be the new Smash Brothers every year. Well, the long forgotten Mario Party. <sighs> Fuck Mario Party, man. I like my friends. Like, hey, I. Deshaun, I don't, don't even mention Mario Party if Deshaun's ever around. Because he still gets mad at me for this star I stole from him when we were like 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see him being salty about that for years. <laughs> he was in first place, I was in second. It was logical to steal his fucking star. It was the end of the match, damn near. Are we talking Mario Party now? No. Oh. Uh, so, I don't know. steal stars. So, who else is wants Call of Duty 3? Because, uh, then. Black, I'm excited for Black, Black Ops 3. Ops 3. I'm, I, see, 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 here's the thing. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. But, what? It better be good. It better not be good. There's zombies. It's the zombies game. are back. Treyarch has, never, Treyarch has never made a bad game. Here's the thing. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to play it. Someone might convince me to play it. I will play it one time and then delete it. <laughs> see, see yeah. so what's going to happen about you playing it one time is that you're going to play it and then you're not going to play the, any other game for like five years and then, then you're deleted. <laughs> Look, no. Fuck you, Maurice. No, no, he's gonna play a game. Was... He's gonna play it once. Maurice for five years straight. Like, yeah, you should download it. And I was like, okay, yeah, it'll give us something to play. And so we played it. And I was ass. Not even gonna lie. And then I deleted it. I was watching Maurice run around like who, like Captain Save a Ho, like. Oh, I just got shot. Oh shit! Here come Maurice to kill the dude to kill me. Like fuck that! Kill him before he kill me. Shit. <laughs> Just get bait and shit. <sighs> like he was like crocodile Dundee, like around the corner, and shit. Like <laughs> white for it, white for it. Do 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 do. So, oh Devil May Cry Four Special Edition, twenty five dollars. Gonna get it. I'm going to. What's the worst to say? It's gonna be good. Well, I'm just getting it just because of the fucking gameplay and the combos you do are fucking amazing. There are people complaining about the fact that the costumes are pre-order bonuses and shit. I'm like, it's just hype for people to pre-order it, though. 
They're like, yeah, but it's a remake. There shouldn't be any pre-order bonuses. Wait, what game? Double make that's ride. Stupid. Oh, on. that's oh wow. Really? Pre-order bonuses on a. Who's making this game? Capcom. God damn it, Capcom. Yes. But it's not only cosmetic stuff. Like it's two costumes. The issue is it's pre-order bonuses, and yeah, like oh yeah, you have to buy our game before you know anything about it, even though it's remake. But they have totally changed everything. Oh, I didn't even know it was remake. I thought it was just some extra side stuff they they did on the end, and just like hey I yo, here's you like combos? We gave you combos. Devil May Cry Combo Edition. They added three characters. All of which play very differently. They added a new mode, and that's See, honestly it, it. Otherwise, the game the game is remastered and just all the way on better. Order system. They actually added shit. It's not like they're like, oh, we repackaged this first game, and like, you know, fuck you if you want these cosmetic yeah. shit at the first time. Here you go. Pre-order that shit. Yeah. No. They added characters. Yeah, they're they're adding Trish, Lady, and Virgil, like who were not playable in the vanilla game. So I it's play, I didn't play Devil May Cry Four the first time around, so I didn't know if they had five people or not. <clears throat> you just informed me of some shit. Well, I, I didn't either. I just know that. Oh, okay. I didn't even know. Ah. <sighs> so there is that. I don't think people have much of a, a reason to complain this time. And it's twenty five. They give a lot here. For twenty five. That too. How much is it releasing for? Twenty five dollars. Oh. Really? Apparently, apparently, people are having a problem with that. Yeah, they're having that a problem. That sounds with amazing. Game. Exactly. It's what the hell? Like, oh hey, instead of releasing a, the same game for like full price, like other companies do, we're gonna no way. Where? Shit. I thought and every I thought every see. remake like Final Fantasy was it was Final Fantasy ten remastered and everything sixty dollars? No, it was fifty. Yeah, that's like they were all like ten dollars under like a full game a full game. Well that was like two games. But they ruined the music. Yeah. I mean it, the music. It, it was two games, both of both of which could run you a good seventy hours. So no. Yeah. But, like, if we're being technical, Type Zero is a remake, so that's a re-release. Uh, I thought it was just a port. <laughs> that too, like, like it never came out to the West. Rim got herpes. Just want y'all to know that. What? Look, she dying and she her, she got super herpes. Don't tell me otherwise. The bitch is dying. Moving on. Her um, shit, like, don't buy her shit. I saw the cutscene where it was like, she dying. Don't buy her no fucking equipment. She don't deserve it. She dying anyway. It's like getting shit for fucking, um, I can't even remember the bitch's name, for Era on Final Fantasy VII. This hoe finna die. Why waste your money? Fuck that hoe. Don't buy her shit. She's still a viable part of the party until then. No, fuck that. She's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> equipment on the way. She better pick up shit. I ain't buying her shit. Loving up for shit. She better Man. take these levels and shut the fuck up. I think I was like the only person who played Final Fantasy VII, where when she died, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. She's gonna be out of the party for a little bit, and then we'll bring her back. And then she never came back, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> well, the reason I wasn't that way because by the time I played Seven. That moment happened spoiled for me like nine times over. I I remember playing like that edition back when we were young as fuck, and like when it happened, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Because I like zipper off, so I was like, <laughs> the whole Kill time, that Kill that I, was, I was rooting for the other person. Like every time we got our shit pushed in at the end of the game, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Zipper off wins. <laughs> what you think about victory. the Omni Slash at the end? Uh, how about, about what? The Cloud Omni Slash is a sip from the end. Reset. 
I was just disappointed that he was like the last boss of Sephiroth and just doing anything killed him. And I was just. Fun fact, you could counter and it'll kill him. Yes, you can just. Stand there and it'll I, kill him. I think even if. Yeah, I think even if you you didn't counter and you didn't attack, you just died eventually for no reason. <sighs> Whatever. There's a plot device. Calm down. Yeah, I know. I was just like, when I saw it, like, when I was first, you know, experiencing it, I was just like, ah, shit. Shit's about to go down. Attack. Dead. Seriously? GG? <laughs> the fight before was pretty epic, though. Eh, it was whatever though. Yes, it was. I mean, 15. Drop the planet on your fucking head. So, I was looking up, like, I guess we're, since we're on the top of the Final Fantasy, uh, I was looking up 15, and apparently people are having a problem with Sid. What's the problem with Sid? Yeah, oh, one. Boy. one <laughs> yeah, but one, Sid's a girl. Which apparently some people are just not okay with, and two, um, so, 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 wait, 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 wait. They were first complaining that their that the party was nothing but boys, and now they're complaining that there's a girl. Yep. Not a playable character, but Sid being a girl, and then they complain the about Sid being sexy, cause like. Bitch, close your shirt. You you work in your no, mechanic. No, 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 no. Sid and Final Fantasy are sexy as hell. Look, 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 look. This, Have they this, seen this, 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 RPG where there are titties everywhere? Like in every not even just RPGs. Fucking Smash Brothers. I can see Samus's ass and midriff and some cleavage and everything. Like, fuck them. Titties are everywhere. Get used to it. Look, <sighs> this is Final Fantasy. Not politi politically correct fantasy. <laughs> it is kind of strange how everyone's like, where's my fucking old bat dude with glasses who fixed airships? Like, why would you even want that to be a regular thing? I am just want different races. That's the only thing. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Thank you. I would... Yeah. If they did, like, a Final... If they gave, like, Final Fantasy story... Uh, Final Fantasy tactics to, like, PC... Uh, to, like, consoles and PC and stuff like that. And... They like they'd even port it over. They kind of just use that uh, aspect to make like another like make a Final Fantasy game. I'll be down with that. You get like a non-human cast and shit like that. Yeah. Pretty neat. So, Square <sighs> Enix throw a big fuck you to all of them and put somebody in the game like this old dude with a big ass pot belly and have that nigga wearing Daisy Dukes and a two. <laughs> yeah. Sold. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, real quick, who's the one that said titties are ever get used to it? Was that, that was you, Scally? Okay, because I'm quoting that. <laughs> 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 oh shit, I finally got a quote. <laughs> titties are everywhere. Get used to it. I mean, but still, I would like to have more female characters that aren't portrayed as sex figures. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, I can understand that, but like, just complaining about her looking when, like, let's be honest, it ain't like she was like she. She um, is the only, and I mean the only female character shown so far. There is another female character later in the game who was pretty fucking central to the plot, who is very, very. Very practical. People need and to wait. People need to play. People need to watch. People need to shut the fuck up. It's like okay, shut the fuck up. You've barely seen anything of the game as well. Like there could be twenty-seven other women in the game that are dressed conservatively. For all we know, we haven't experienced anything of the game really in the grand scope of it. For all we know, it could be a planet full of women. Exactly. Those could be the only four dudes left in existence. When one just so happens to have a shirt open, show some cleavage. And all the other three, completely covered. <laughs> if you were the only four men in existence, in a planet full of women, would you yeah. try? 
Wait, what? Would you even try anymore? If what? Like if, if you're the only four people in a planet full of women, would you even try? I wouldn't have to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why do the other guys need the shirt open? Uh, let me let me answer this question from the standpoint of a guy with his wife sitting beside him. <laughs> Y'all have to have all the other women because I only got eyes for one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, as he said, as, his, that shit. as, no. he, as he said, as his wife sits next to him, because he's totally not saying it because his wife is next to him. Type well, into Skype what you whatever actually. Whatever scores mean. points. <laughs> <laughs> I know a trap when I see a blink, trap. B- blink twice if there's <laughs> blink twice if she has you at gunpoint. <laughs> 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 I'm quoting that. I'm quoting that. Um, let me see. Hold on. Like, is there any other topics that are uh, at least Gears new? Gears of War was leaked. Dude, Whoa. I'm buying. Uh, is it? Wait, yeah, with Gears of War is remastered. Oh, buying an yeah. Xbox. Buying an Xbox One. Yeah, like the Gears of War. The people that leaked Gears of War is their Xbox is getting fucking bricked. Temporarily, isn't it? Or is that something yeah, else? It's temporarily. Yeah. It's but... getting mad. Even though. They signed NDAs stating that that would happen. So. I'm I'm down with them breaking, you know, consoles. I'm down with that. Like, hey, yo, you signed something. This happened. Like, hey, what's, what's the promise? I would fucking. I would. I would be glad I didn't get sued. I would record through something else and make sure my name or anything wasn't visible in the video and post that shit and just be like, fuck you. You don't know who I am. Just do it on Reddit. <laughs> That's where everyone gets away with stuff like that. This is why remastering a game made with Unreal Engine 3, that's, um, that's another topic of discussion. What happened? Just words four. I mean, the game itself, I mean, it, granted it has been a while since its release, but graphically, it's also, I don't know what there would be to remaster. Just actual 1080p? Oh, well, this that. What game are we I talking mean, about? actual 1080p. Wait, what are we talking about right now? I just blanked out. What, yeah, what are we talking uh, about? A Gears, Gears of War, War remaster. Yeah, I am. If, if, that if, game if they re, if they announce that they are making a God of War remaster for Xbox One, that I am buying an Xbox One that day. That is one of the reasons why okay. I would buy a Xbox God One. God of War. Remaster. He said it by Next. mistake. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Yeah, we don't need to bring. Oh like, I'm pretty sure a God of War remaster would be the equivalent of having like it already got re- Light Titans. It already got remastered. It's already it got happened. remastered like twice. It's it it's already happened. <laughs> so it's already it happened on PS4. again. I mean, is it already on PS4? No, no. Now, if that happened, I no. If there were ever a game that we no, just need to need a God. remaster of a remaster of a remaster, it would be um, Shadow of the Colossus, <laughs> especially in light of this article in which they some some user uploaded a new video where he detailed what could have been in the in regards to the um, oh I've Colossi seen that. that were cut from the game. Oh, what, I've seen that. What I find fun is that like for Final Fantasy X, we've got a remaster of a remaster. Yep. Like for Final Fantasy VII, they're just like, but get this Porter game, bitch. You know what? Uh, he fucking Final Fantasy. I just can't get over how fucking excited he was to announce a goddamn PC port. <sighs> well, I was now, at least with the PC port of Final Fantasy VII, you can make it look pretty. Whatever, man. Whatever. What? I don't know. That's not acceptable. You. That's something you do no, on no, like. No, that's... No. That is perfect. I'll be like Cloud's blocky ass hands in 1080p. No, that's something you announce like on your Twitter, like, "Hey, yo." Uh, but Final here's Fantasy the VII thing: for... they're fucking with us. Damn right, they're fucking. <laughs> they, they I don't know. think you understand. This is the long con. At some point, Square Enix, like tw- 20, 25 years ago, exact same situation. They're gonna be out of money. They're gonna be broke. One last game. 
Guess what it is. Final Fantasy VII Remastered. Final Fantasy. Thing, thing. You win. A chicken dinner. <laughs> they, and it's gonna be called Final Fantasy VII. You finally got it, bitches. <laughs> Final Fantasy, you fucking got it, seven. It'll be called Final Okay Fine. Seven. And then, like a week before it's supposed to be released, they're gonna be like, "It's just a port again." <laughs> 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 After everyone pre-ordered it, and it's like breaking so cells. Final Fantasy VII Remastered, like until they, five they million pre-orders. Like they'll name it Final Fantasy VII Remastered, but they won't be showing screenshots and shit. And then a week before it's released, you see the whole gameplay, and it's just the original ported over for this new system, and they just put remastered on it. No, they re they they ported over to Nintendo uh, Wii or uh, NX or whatever, and just, that's it. <laughs> be a knife in the wound. Just that, have that, a, an overlay of the word remastered on the top right corner that, of every screen. That would be the ultimate fuck. Like and then, Final Fantasy VII remastered coming soon, and then like all the Sony people are like yeah for the Nintendo Wii <laughs> thousand. And then when all the music in the game is replaced with the tra la 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 tra la 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 to the beat, it's all acapella. <laughs> and then, like, randomly as fuck, because it's ported to Nintendo, you can recruit Mario to your party. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually sounds... <laughs> that sounds amazing, what are you talking about? Like, like, like fuck, like, fuck, fuck like, playing by with... the way, if you, if you have a Martha Amiibo... <laughs> Like, yo, yo, whoa, 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 now this is becoming a good idea. <laughs> like, Final Fantasy uh, 7 of Amiibo support. Fuck, fuck the, fuck the original. Screw everything else. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck, fuck the original cast. I'll be playing with Cloud, Mar uh, uh, fucking Leave Mario, Cloud. Sonic, the Pac-Man, fucking Marv, I, like, that's my team, let's do it. Sephiroth is gonna have a Ganondorf uh, skin. <laughs> <laughs> No, fuck that. The final boss is Ganondorf and Sephiroth in some new form of bullshit. Dude. An Omega Ganondorf. weapon gets no, no, no. fucked up. Sephiroth Ganondorf. riding Ganondorf. Ganon. Pick yeah, Ganondorf is gonna be in his bull form and Sephiroth is gonna be riding him. <laughs> what a cloud <laughs> tentacle thing that infuses them together. Sephiroth is gonna have his shirt Fucking off oddly like Shoshomaru and shit. <laughs> Fucking Triforce Supernova. Oh god. <laughs> oh fuck. Dead. Life is over. <laughs> Try for supernova. Shit. Link's gonna come in with the master sword out of nowhere. Master sword. And die with you. <laughs> he he hates surviving that shit. <laughs> Just saying. Imagine a limit break Falcon Punch. GG. Fuck. Dude, done. GG. Millions of copies sold. That's that's the only video you you have of this game is that. It's just Falcon Punch is like. Whatever you would call the move, and it's just on me size Falcon Punch. Why can't we get a game like Smash Brothers, like the cast of Smash Brothers, but an RPG? Like, full RPG. I would dig it. You know, fuck that. No, fuck that. Not an RPG. Not, not, we want, I want a tactical RPG game. Turn based Final Fantasy Tactics. Fire Emblem! So you want Final Fantasy Tactics again? I fucking love Final Fantasy Tactics. Fuck yeah. Me. They go play Final Fantasy That, 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 that that pretty much is what you kind of just asked for. And... I want Final Fantasy Tactics. Go play Hey, it. hey. For us turn-based... there's always an MPX Capcom. Hey, for us turn-based tactical fans, the only thing we have is Fire Emblem. Period. That is it. We have one hey, game. Hey, series. be thankful for that. That could... Man. You should thank us. We let you live. The thing is, is that that's the whole genre. Not just... That's yeah, not like Tom, you have code names. You have code name Steam. Code name Steam is just bad. It's not even like turn-based RPG. XCOM, I you know I I'll give you that, but code name Steam is a turn-based like real-time first-person. Like that's like calling Resistance of Fate a turn like a tactics turn-based game. Like it was turn-based and tact and like you had to be strategic, but. Everything, like, when you moved, the enemies moved, which made it an action game. Which was, like... 
it's not the same thing. I don't get to yeah, choose. I don't get to choose my idea. characters, and then like change their class, equip them, give them these abilities, level them up, and then put them on a field, and then like, hey, it's your turn. Move here, do this shit. Move here, do that shit. That's the thing. The only difference between most other tactics games and that you just named and codenamed Steam is the perspective. You do all of that with him. You give him the weapons. You customize them. You even add Mark and Ike to the game. You know what? Fuck you guys. Podcast done. <laughs> but I'm really, really done. <laughs> well, what? actually, like, what else is there to talk about? Cause we uh, we've going. gone on for about. God knows how long. Uh, about yeah. two hours. Yeah, we've been going on for over two hours. I mean, <laughs> since you guys are here, and, you know, why not? Um, pretty much, let's I play. I will not touch your butt. No, we're going to play another game of 21 questions that you guys are going to do horribly at, because apparently that's the theme of you guys, is just doing horrible at 21 questions. I got, I got it right. What are you talking about? I'm, yeah. It, it showed off. It started great. <laughs> hey, ask, ask one question. Is it, is it fucking Destiny? Is it fucking Mass Effect? You asked one question. Why are you guessing shit? Like, well, we did start off the first five questions asking if it involved cats and different types of cats. Exactly. Your first five question was, is there cats well, in it? Is it an RPG? The very last question I got right. What, what's the problem here? Like, well, well, that being said, I will have to drop out before this. It's almost 2.30 here. I kind of need to handle things and go to sleep. Oh, okay. Come on, motherfucker. You so. can sleep in the plane. <laughs> no, you can't. This is this is the thing. How long is the plane ride? Forever. Exactly. You do know this is like the day after tomorrow, right? Well, okay. What do you have to do tomorrow, then? You don't gotta pack your shit. They're doing it for you. Brady says, "Bitches." The shit that they have to pack, they've already packed. I have to pack the things that I still have. <laughs> okay. Wh whatever. Just let him go, man. If he has shit to do, he has shit to do. Oh fuck it, we playing Thank 21 you. with Jen. Yeah, knowing you guys, it's gonna be another hour. <laughs> it is. So, okay, surely, we should probably end it here. No, I, I mean, for him, he can leave, but we're still gonna do the 21 questions. I have one more question for Jen, then. Oh, How would God. you call the 21 bitches with Jen? <laughs> <laughs> what do we guess they're Later, doing? guys! <laughs> <laughs> And all he's leaving all his links and everything to his YouTube and Facebook group we're in will be in the description below that thing you guys never look at. Um, so once again, do you want video game character or video game title? Let's go with okay. title again. Let's go. Or in character, why not? So we have two for character. Character. And whenever you guys are ready. Is the character a cat? <laughs> God, that was my question. <laughs> That's all, folks. You know, the, you know what this podcast is going to be called? It's going to be called Cats and Hats. Podcast. Hats and Hats, the cast. Yes, all right. Um, no, the seriously. character's not a cat. <laughs> it, is it from an RPG game? Yes. Is it a traditional RPG or an action RPG? Action RPG. Was released in the last five years. Okay, let me let me just double check real quick. I was off. Released in the last five years. I'm more than likely, definitely sure, and I'm willing to bet uh, Jen's bitch's life on that. <laughs> but let me uh, just double original check. Original game. Seek, was an original game. It was an original game. Okay. Is it Kratos? It was not released in the last five years. It's Kratos. No. Is the character a female? The character is not a female. So it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a cat fetish? Is that, what, is that what's... No, that's just the thing for is, the day. Are you, is that uh, wrong? You take a joke and you beat it to death. And then just when you think it can no longer be funny, you beat it some more. 
Oh, well, it's not a cat. Cat likes your penis. <laughs> the cat, uh, the cat is out of your penis. Actually, no, it's <laughs> moving, so moving on. Penis. Um, so it's a male. That is correct. Okay. Um, is it from a Dynasty Warriors game? Oh no. I don't play Dynasty Warriors. I wouldn't know. So no. No. Unless it is, and he's not, and he just guesses. No, it. no, it's no. The answer is no. One question: What the game is he from? Who well, we made know. this? Is it a modern or is it a modern um, time, or rather, is it a futuristic time frame? Yes. So it's a futuristic time. Ish. Yes, ish. Like, not fully completely, but it does have futuristic stuff in the game. Is the game Kingdom Hearts? The game is not Kingdom Hearts. Is it a even though Even though we're going for characters, the character's name is not Kingdom Hearts. It, it, it's <laughs> no! It's the character it's Shepard. <laughs> is it Shepard? It is, is Shepard? not Shepard, because that would be a fully futuristic game and not futuristic. It's like, no. Moving on. Um. Let's see. Is it a hack and slash type, or is it like a shooter type, or? That's not a yes or no question. I feel is like. Is it a hack and slash type? Yes ish. I feel yes. like video game yeah. character is too vague. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You just gotta ask the right questions. Does he use a chainsaw? He does, does not use a chainsaw, and that does not count as a question. <laughs> <laughs> there are characters! Name five characters that, who, who are main weapons are chainsaw. Does he have a gun? Frank West, Frank West, Frank West, Frank West and Frank West. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Um, does he have a gun? He does not use a gun. Alright, so let's hear. <clears throat> does he use a sword? He, of course, everyone uses swords. He uses a sword. Frank Is it West. A is a no, it's not a katana. The it guy is. from Doom. It is not the guy from Resident Doom. Evil. It is not the guy from Resident Fallout. Evil. Fallout. It is not the Fallout. Hammer. Is it Riku Hayabusa? It is not that guy. I'm, I'm saying characters, things, games that have chainsaws. That's five. I six. Said, it's, it's, six. It's, it's, here's four. <laughs> Is I said, mean, name characters that whose main weapons are chainsaws. Fuck you. Doom guy. Main is weapon a, is a chainsaw. He has a chainsaw. He has a chainsaw, but is this his main weapon? No, it's not. So fuck you. Anyway, moving on. Is he a ninja? He is not a ninja because he is not Ryu. There was other ninja shit. <laughs> Trying to, I'm moving on. Whatever. All ninjas are the same guy. It's like he a, thinking all Asians are the same person. Is he a samurai? He is not a samurai. <laughs> I feel like we've gone past 20 questions. He's not an assassin. Okay, He's he not an assassin. Okay. Is he anything Asian related? Is he buff? He works out. He lives. Is it Travis Touchdown? It is not Travis Touchdown. I like where you're going. But, yeah, because, yeah, he's not an assassin. Is he a playable character? He is a playable character. Okay, he's the Brady. Main character. Wait, wait, Britty asked this. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this nigga gets bitches. No. Oh. Does he look like a bitch? Does he speak English? He speaks English. <laughs> oh, look where this is going. Marcellus Wallace. Wait, what'd you say? Is it Marcellus Wallace? Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, that reminds me, I gotta see more Pulp Fiction. I haven't seen it enough times. <laughs> hmm. Come on. I, I pretty much just gave up doing 21 questions. Like, you guys can pretty much just fuck it YOLO. How do you wanna know if he got a big dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious to why your wife wants to know if another nigga has a big dick. I'm curious to why my wife wanna know if he got a big dick. <laughs> I think we've derailed here. Okay. I think we're not uh, gonna get it. All right, hold up, hold up. Okay, seriously. Um, was it a game that came out in last generation consoles? 
Meaning PS3, Xbox 360. That's PSP. It's a PSP game. Yeah, it's like it's a PSP game. It's a game that you can play on the PSP. It's an original game. A metal character, use the sword, it's a PSP game. It's in a futuristic ish setting. It's an original game, like an original series. Um, it's 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 game itself. Does he have a giant sword? He does have a giant sword. It's, I it's, wonder who it is. It's Cloud <laughs> Strife. Think of no. It's Zach. It's Zach. fucking Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see when I, you like said, is it a futuristic game? It's like it's Final Fantasy. It's a game that takes in the past but has like high tech shit. Fuck Price's core, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, the, we're doing character, so it's Zach Fair. Enough. Price is cool. The game. Yeah. Actually, you said, we, you said PSP. That's all I need. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, like, I figured it out then too, but then I was like, cloud, just because they're the same. Person. No, no, no. You you were way off and didn't know anything because you don't know anything because you tell things. They are the same person. What are you talking because about? Because you can, because you don't have glasses, you can't focus. Alright, so I answered. What's my reward? Do I get a hat? Oh, no. You get. You, you get. You, what you get. For getting it. I got both of them right, so what, what the hell? What you hat. get is a cat wearing a hat that's gonna deliver you a key. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's gonna change skin color and leave. I still can't believe there is actually shit like that that sells with that amount. Um. So, pretty much I'm gonna do the outro um, because I have to go do something, and you know, I'll, I'll be back to streaming later. But I have to do something, so we're gonna do the outro. Um, it's pretty much your name again, just so people, you know, you said your name like two hours ago. <laughs> um, what have you been playing? What you've been looking forward to? like a game or anything, and then anything you're currently working on. Rather it's a comic book, a, a video, YouTube, anime, like you're watching anime into Naruto, whatever. And then that's gonna be it, then we're doing all of night and whatever. So, Arnold, of course you I already said your name, what you been playing? Uh, just Dota. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play Hat Simulator 2. Yeah. Just what, just what, <laughs> what game are you looking forward to? Just Dota. Dota. <laughs> Dota. <laughs> Dota 2? Looking forward to Dota 2? Or Dota 2. What have, any projects you've been working on? Anything? Nope. Dota 2. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working on Dota 2. Working on that Dota. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Moving on to freaking Mr. Cats. What what, what you what have you been playing? What have I been playing? I've been playing Final Fantasy 3. You witnessed my whole shit with yeah. that. And I finished that finally. So now I've beaten all... Of the first six Final Fantasy games, and now I'm getting a laptop on Thursday, and I'm getting back into Toho because Toho 15 is out now, and it's apparently difficult as fuck, which is a challenge accepted. I mean, come on, it's uh, fucking Toho, wall of bullets, DG. <laughs> pretty much. Um, what have I been doing other than that? Watching anime, because I don't have a very fulfilling life. Welcome to the club. I've watched, I watched like, I don't know, I've been watching the last six or seven shows from this season, and Classic Memories is the best show. Anyone who is listening to this podcast is not allowed to disagree. <laughs> Anything you look, well, you pretty much said what you were looking forward to and what you've been working on. Alright, so moving on to Scally, what have you been playing? I have been honestly playing Marvel's Contest of Champions, because I can't see shit else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming what you're looking forward to it is The Witcher 3. Actually, well, yes, but I'm going to go with Life is Strange Episode 3 to what I'm looking forward to. What have you been working on? I've been working on being more consistent and getting off my ass when it comes to streaming and posting stuff on YouTube. Also, banging my wife. <laughs> and apparently other bitches. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. We all saw that. We all saw that. Whoa! Wait! Oh! We got oh. black material on you, buddy. You've been quoted in stream. <laughs> okay. 
And I've been sit, I've been sitting here beside my wife the whole time. So what I don't a gun know to your head. Y'all fucking up a happy home. I'm happy home. Hey, I'm not saying I'm the one that would fuck all the bitches like Jen, but I'm not the one who said I would fuck all the bitches like Jen. I, who the fuck said that? <laughs> I don't know, what? man. I didn't say anything. Demonic, what games have you been playing? Um, well, if any of you guys ever watch my streams, <laughs> I've, that's what I'm asking, motherfucker. I've been playing indie games because I didn't know what game to play, and I don't know what's coming up next because. Like, I was looking into The Witcher and Project Cars, but I wasn't sold enough, so I'm like, well, I want to play something, but uh, I don't know. So I downloaded a bunch of indie games, and I've been playing that until Valkin Heart, Val Valkin Hearts, or however that's pronounced. Like, Race to Sun. Hearts. Yeah. Unfinished Swan. Maurice, knowing how you are about Dragon Age and the other different games, I will personally vouch and say that you will like The Witcher 3. Is it romantic? Yes, there's magic. Okay, I'll look into it. people fucking unicorns. I'll look into it. So, <laughs> that's pretty much the podcast. Um, I do want to thank... Hey, whoa, fuck what? what game are you looking forward to? I, oh. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, if they don't fuck up. And... Fuck what up, was, uh, there was another question in there. No, like, what I'm working on? I mean, YouTube stream... YouTube and pretty much Twitch... One of my eight follow eight followers away from four hundred. Hype, yeah! Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, you got, got a one dollar donation from Copper today. Yeah! <laughs> Get yourself some Cheetos. All that shit if you want, but that one dollar come in handy. Motherfucker, right. go to the store right now and get you a chicken sandwich or something. <laughs> Isn't it done through a? Uh... Right. What size is it the donations done through? Um, I can give you a link, but um, um just make sure you guys, because I'm too lazy to do this. Either you know, however you want, Facebook, put my status, pop on my wall, whatever you want, Twitter it. Just send me like your link to your YouTube, Twitch, and anything else, so that way I can put it in the description below. Because I'm just too lazy to fetch myself. Um, of course, the Facebook group we're all in, in case you want to join the next podcast or just be in a group where we're all in. Um, that will also be in the description below. You know, support our brother, whatever. Podcast is now officially over, so um, if you. I'm, I'm gonna. I got shit to do, so you guys can you know, fuck bitches and get money. Cats. Hats. Cats and hats. Keys. With skins. Fucking Guns cool. that cost hundreds of dollars. Jim, <sighs> bitches. Keys covered in cat skin and glued to hats. Later, folks. <sighs> Bye. Fucking dental. No, get, get the ah. fuck out of here. Alright, hold on. Hopper, and then I'll actually. Um and let me host someone <laughs> Um I like host tell. I'm well I'm gonna be back in an hour or something like that, so it's gonna be my I'll be back. You'll you'll